Hello students, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Arpita De and today I am going to present before you a brief lecture on the opening and closing of stomata. Before we move on to the main course of our discussion, I would like to discuss with you the primary structure of stomata. Stomata are made up of two guard cells which are surrounded by subsidiary cells. These two guard cells subtend a pore at its center. When these guard cells are turgid, uh, we say that the stomata have opened and when these become flaccid due to exosmosis of water, we say that the stomata has have closed. Now, we'll talk about the factors that control the movement of stomata. The most important factors are light, temperature, concentration of carbon dioxide, concentration of ions, water deficiency and lastly the concentration of abscisic acid or ABA. Here now we will talk about the opening of stomata. During daytime what happens? Photosynthesis takes place as we all know. During photosynthesis there is huge influx of potassium ions and there is a simultaneous exit of hydrogen ions. This leads to a rise in solute potential and a great fall in water potential. This fall or decrease in water potential leads to endosmosis of water. Endosmosis of water means what? There is entry of water into the guard cells. This entry of water into the guard cell increase the turgor pressure there. This increase in turgor pressure in the guard cells make them turgid and this results into opening of stomata. Now we'll move on to the procedure that leads to the closing of stomata. The process is just the reverse of that was happening during daytime. Here during night time what happens, there is a huge influx of hydrogen ions with simultaneous flux of potassium ions. This leads to a decrease in solute potential and simultaneously leading to the rise in water potential. This rising water potential results in exosmosis of water that is water exit the guard cells making them absolutely flaccid. This decrease in turgor pressure leads to stomatal closure. So these are the two basic outlines of how stomatal movement take place during day and during night. We'll talk about these three very important points about the role of ABA or abscisic acid in stomatal closure. What does it do? It prevents the outflux of hydrogen ions and promotes that of potassium. Okay, then it leads to the lowering of pH thus leading to stomatal closure. And finally, it also promotes the influx of calcium in cytosol from extracellular space leading to stomatal closure. Okay, now before we wind up, let's know a small definition. We will talk about the definition of guttition. Guttition is a very simple phenomenon that we get to see in nature. It is the exudation of water from the tip of leaves in its liquid phase at night under conditions of low evaporation. Okay, it takes place through specialized pores called hydrothers and is found to occur in various types of plants, for example, grasses, potato, tomato, and so on. It is mainly, remember the point, it is mainly the exudation of xylem sap. Okay, thank you so much for your kind attention. If you find that this video 
is of help to you then kindly hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel to get notified whenever there is a new video in my channel.